Hey guys, it's Amaya J Films and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you five video tricks that you can incorporate for your video projects within Canva. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is going to be the background remover within Canva. Don't forget, you do have to have the pro plan in order to do this. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to set my background for the video, which is gonna be this clip right here where it says pink sparkles. I just basically came up here under elements and I just type in what I wanted and then I came over here to videos and then I added the video um, to here or you can go to photos if you want to do a photo either way it will work but I'm gonna do videos and I'm gonna select this clip right here and I want this to be my main background and then I'm gonna go ahead and expand this out I'm now gonna come over here to upload and upload the clip where I want to remove the background and I'm gonna go ahead and pause that here now I have my clip, I'm gonna go ahead and center it. I'm gonna come up here to edit video. And then I'm gonna hit background remover. And then now Canva has now removed the background for this video. Then what I can do is take my back, uh, my video here, excuse me, and then I can resize it. And then I can press play. Now, as you can see, um, it's kind of cut right here with the line. So what I like to do is come over here to elements and type in blur, go to graphics, choose a blur here, choose the orange one, put it kind of over those lines there and then come over here to the color palette. And then I can choose any type of uh, blur um, to this or what I can do is just type in pink blur and then I can add that to the sides here that way it's not obvious that it's been cut and kind of put it here and then play my video So the next trick is going to be the element animation trick where basically you take one of your elements and animate it manually within Canva and have it move on a certain path. To do this, you wanna make sure you have your background, your photo, your video set up, then come over here to elements and add the element that you want it to move on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this B here that I have, resize it here, and then I'm gonna come over here to animate come over here to create an animation, select that. It says drag elements around the canvas to create your own animation. So you're gonna select that. And then once you hold down the element, you can see that you can create a path for which you want your element to go. And then once you let go, it's gonna basically play back. Once that's playing, you can come back over here and play around under movement styles. You can do original, you can have it move in a smooth motion, or you can do a nice steady uh, pace. You can also come over here and mess with the speed here if you want to go super slow or super fast as well. And then you can also select orient uh, element to path. I don't know if I said that correctly. Um, and it'll basically move um, with it as well. So if I come back here and press play, we can see it's turning and going around the path. If you don't like that, you can just hit delete path and start all over. You can also select your uh, B or your element here. Let me go back here. And if you hold down shift, then you can create a straight line and then again, it will move straight. The next trick is gonna be the framing trick where basically you take a, a picture or a video that has a particular frame like a TV or a mirror and you basically replace it with your own video playing within that frame to make it seem like it was already originally playing from there. So what you're gonna do is come up here to elements and for example purposes, I'm just gonna type in TV. And then I'm gonna come over here to photos and I'm gonna bring this up and I wanna basically put a video inside of here. So I'm basically just going to extend this out. And then I'm gonna come over here, back up here and I'm gonna type in sports. Come over here to videos. And I'm basically just gonna find uh, a clip here 
and then I'm gonna resize it. So when you're doing this, depending on what you want to replace it with, you just kind of want to match it up for the framing and then extend it out. And then you can hit uh, press play here at the beginning. And now it looks like the video of him playing was originally playing within this frame. The next effect is going to be the picture in picture effect. So basically where you have either a video or photo playing and um, as part of the main scene and then minimizing the other video clip in the corner to basically have them playing at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to elements. And again, for example, purposes, um, I'm going to choose this scene here that I used in the other clip before. And you basically just want to put basically your photo or video down here. I'm going to use a video as an example. And then we're just going to pretend um, someone is reviewing this scene. So I'm just going to add my video clip or add you add your video clip to the scene. You're just going to resize it and then you can bring it up to the corner here. Whoops. And then take the corners here and resize it come back to beginning and play it. Now, if you wanna control the timing of when this actually appears, you can select the clip here, hit the three dots, and then go to show timing. The timing will appear down here in purple, and then you can choose how long this clip is playing at the top. The last one that we're gonna do is the slideshow video effect or slideshow trick that you can do within Canva. So if you ever want to create a slideshow, it is possible within Canva. So what we're gonna do first is just set up my background here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a color here for my background. We're just gonna do a light tone right here. Then I'm gonna come over to elements. I'm just gonna type in some pi uh, picture. So we'll do flowers. Um, for the pictures and then I'm gonna come over here to photos and I'm going to select a photo here. I'm gonna go ahead and center it so you don't want to center your photo or you can make it fill up the entire screen. I'm gonna go ahead and center it then come over here to animate and the two ones that are good for this one would definitely be the breathe one. I, I think that's the best one or the photo zoom. I can select that then I can uh, add another scene here, add another photo, super easy. Again, animate, and then I'm gonna do breathe, and then come over here, add one more page, and we're just gonna add one more photo. Put it here in the middle, come over here to animate, and we can just do a nice photo zoom. For this and then if you come and play it from the beginning you now have a nice slideshow that is now playing within canva so i hope you guys enjoyed these five video tips tricks whatever you want to call it within canva utilize these features within a canva for your videos and i hope you guys keep creating and i'll see you guys in the next video remember vision is everything and vision yours i'll see you next time